AYTPC. Smoking my Savinelli St. Nicholas 311. I wish I could just only smoke this around Christmas time because, you know, it's a Christmas pipe, so holiday pipe or whatever. Um, but I just love this shape a lot. So, <clears throat> well, another pipe that's on my list is just a regular uh, 311 or K11, 311KS, what the name is. I like the uh, the Trevi, um, that style. So maybe I'll pick up a 311 Trevi. Oh, I'm smoking some uh, Sun Bear. MF. Sun Bear, mother. <laughs> uh. I made a pretty funny meme I might have to put at the end. Um, everyone saying Sun Bear, MF, short for Mountain Flower. I thought of a funny meme, so I'll post at the end. Anyways, um, this is a video response to Greg Varmdo Hobbyist. This is really good tobacco. It really is. I've smoked it, I don't know, five or six times now. But this is the first time where I was like, damn, this is some good stuff. Like, I normally don't really get a room note when I'm smoking something. And so, I, I don't really know how good a tobacco smells unless somebody else is smoking it. But I was lighting it and I, I was getting a really good whiff of, of as the tobacco was burning or starting to catch and it was really really nice like an aromatic smell like it it's really it's it's good stuff I'm glad I what well, I'm glad I picked up three tens because I mean you always wish you picked up more but I it's hard for me to buy a bunch of tobacco if I don't know. But then again, you know, this small batch stuff, you can resell it easily and sell it for more if you really wanted to or trade it or whatever. But anyways, um, so he has a, a question for his, he's doing a giveaway, which I liked, I liked how uh, subtle he was about it like he didn't put in the title giveaway he just made a normal video um how to and asked a question and you know said uh he's gonna give away he's uh paying for a commission pipe by bjv and i think that's super generous um the amount he's um putting towards that and it's just uh super generous i mean it's really cool um so um anyways this question i feel like i'm just like getting sidetracked and stuff um it's late He, uh, yeah, so the question is, like, what is it, uh, something that you, um, you are interested in or intrigued by, and, and if you ever did it, or, and if you didn't do it, then why haven't you, 
Um, so I've always, I, not so much anymore for whatever reason. I think it's just because I just don't have time. Um, you know, I've got three kids now. And just uh, have other hobbies that that I enjoy doing. So I don't I don't do this a whole lot, but I've always been I've always loved music. Most people do. I've met I have I know a few people who don't like music, which is strange to me. But um. I love I love music I love all kinds of music um, but one one style or genre that I'm really into is uh, hardcore um, hardcore punk that kind of stuff even like you know adjacent to that like indie or emo or whatever um but you know, in high school, I learned how to play guitar, and I did like singer-songwriter stuff, and wrote my own songs, and, and would play uh, coffee shops, open mic nights, stuff like that. Um, and I was in a couple couple different bands, and you know, we started started a band, and then write a few songs, and then. Um, maybe play a show or two and then it just you know just didn't happen anymore um then I had a, I had a friend who put me in contact with another person this is like after I started getting more involved with like the local music scenes like um how shows are a big deal in like smaller you know music communities and stuff um, where somebody just opens up their house, puts on a, you know, books a show, books a three, maybe four bands, um, play in the living room or the basement or whatever, you know, I've been to so many awesome shows where it was just in a small ass basement with, you know, the band set up and then everyone just gathered around them and just, you know push each other around you know <laughs> moshing and stuff but I got you know I was into started going to a lot of local house shows and stuff and uh, I was like man I, I saw my buddy I was like I miss playing music I miss playing a band um I also did vocals too but not like I was never a really good singer I tried doing the singer songwriter stuff but I'm just not I'm not very good at singing, I guess, so, um, I just didn't, uh, didn't want to do that kind of thing, but, like, you know, I could yell or scream, and that's what, you know, my passion was, I guess. So my buddy, you know, he tells me about another guy that he knows, and he's like, because he had asked me, he's like, hey, you know, uh, so-and-so, and I'm like, no, he's like, well, he's always looking for people to jam with or play music with, and he's like, he... So I, you know, looked him up on Facebook, reached out to him, was like, hey, I'm, you know, real good friends with, uh, it was my buddy Ryan who got me into pipe smoking. <laughs> like, I'm real good buddies with uh, Ryan, you know, he said that you always looking for people to play with and stuff like that, and I, um, gotten, you know, so we started talking about music and found out we were into a lot of the same stuff, a lot of the same listen to the same bands found out we were at the same show together one time um and then we also had a a um a mutual friend who played drums so we talked to him and he said he, he was down to play drums and so we started a band and you know we were long story short we wrote three songs we went through Four different drummers our fourth one was the one that we stuck with and he and our, our sound changed every time we got a new drummer it was still like the heavy thrashy like hardcore punk stuff but it was like a different kind of iteration like one drummer was a little bit more metal other one was a little more hardcore other one was a little bit more thrashy and then our final drummer was more punk so like that's what that's our genre was like hardcore punk stuff and 
anyways long story short I'm like that was a huge long story and not really getting to the point <laughs> um, but anyways um, yeah so this you know this band we were called Dear Darla um, we we recorded never did a full length album but we did EPs um, recorded demos we did a, a split EP with another band from another state um, we played out we we toured which was you know something I always dreamed of doing like always I mean ever since I started playing music learning how to you know play in bands I was like man it'd be so cool if just to hit the road and just go from town to town and just play music maybe even have you know people singing your songs back to you I always thought that would be super cool and I can say that I, I did that like I didn't do it we didn't do it for very long I mean <clears throat> we were a band for maybe four years five five years maybe four, probably four solid years I think and um but we didn't really start doing stuff until probably like the last couple of years because you know of finding drummers and going through drummers and like making sure everybody could you know take off work or whatever and go play these shows and um but yeah I, we the, I think the biggest thing we did was like we did a nine day tour just through the midwest and just it was it was you know we slept in the van a couple a couple nights slept on couches um played to a bunch of people played to very little people like it, it was just you know and we we ate like shit the whole time didn't you know I, I got stories and stories and stories about this stuff that maybe i'll share another time but we just it, it was probably some of the most fun i've ever had in my life with my best friends and um, I mean, I, I hope maybe someday I can do this again, you know, do that again. But it's definitely hard when you got younger kids, especially. I, mean, I have friends that have kids and they, they still manage to do it because, you know, their job that they work or their career or whatever. Um, they're able to go out and play shows, you know, maybe not so much touring, but they can still go out and play shows and stuff like that. <clears throat> but it was yeah that's you know so that, I guess that's the answer to my question is if I you know took that road and went out and you know chased my dreams and stuff and I did for a short time um but yeah it was always a lot of fun and that, and that and that like you know the whole like you know wanting people to sing back your songs to you I experienced that a little bit you know we 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 played a lot um so we we were based in Fort Wayne but we played up in South Bend Indiana uh, played in Toledo Ohio um Alton Illinois St. Louis, uh, Missouri, that kind of, you know, it's all kind of around the same area. Um, and we, I think we played, uh, I mean, for, we played Fort Wayne a lot, but you know, even, even, you know, a lot, a lot more times, you know, people in Fort Wayne would be singing back to us because that's our, our hometown. We all knew the songs. Um, but it happened a couple times like in South Bend or um, Toledo even, you know, just we made, you know, connections and people liked our music and stuff like that. So, yeah, I guess that's, that's you know, well, it was good times. You know, I, I love talking about those times that I, where I did all that because it's just brings back memories and reminds me how much fun I really did have doing that stuff so super long video I didn't want to do it do this too long but um 
hopefully this um, uh, kind of answers answers the question. But um, yeah. Thank you again, Greg, for the, um, the topic. It's always always fun to kind of learn learn from other people on here and. kind of talk about things like that so I have other dreams and stuff you know that eventually I'd like to get to but that was one day one and I was a glad I was able to do it a little bit so so hope you guys are doing good um, you know it's I guess it's Thursday technically now but um, almost done with the week, and I uh, can relax a little bit on the weekend. I got a uh, company golf outing on Saturday, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I like golfing; it's fun. You know, bring some cigars, or hook up pull pipes, and stuff like that. And but it's I'm a night owl right now because I work second shift, and tea time is like eight in the morning about half hour drive to the, to the course so I gotta wake up probably like I don't know 6 30 so it's gonna be a rough one but anyways thanks for watching thank you Greg and uh, catch you the next one